Hey everybody, welcome back to the Future Spell channel. My name is Joe, I'm a marine biologist on the team, and today I'm gonna to be live reacting to some scary shark attack videos. And I hope that you can walk away from this video with a little bit more knowledge about sharks, why shark attacks occur, and let's just get into it and react to some of these videos. I have never actually been attacked by a shark, personally, um, and it's not something that I want to have happen to me either. I think right away the worst like three sharks that i'd ever want to be in a situation like this with is a great white obviously that's like the obvious one but probably a little bit more intense would be a tiger shark or a bull shark i think those two surpass a great white shark even though a great white shark is the biggest shark and i just like don't ever want to accidentally run into one of those sharks while i'm like in the water that would be terrifying but the other two tiger sharks and bull sharks they're known to be aggressive and they're known to be very, very curious. And those are two qualities that really lead up to a lot of these shark attacks that you're going to see in this video. Let's dive right into it. And let's start with our first shark attack video here. Uh, so the first one looks like it is a, it's a woman and she is snorkeling, having a great time on her vacation in the Maldives. And if you didn't know where the Maldives were, they're in the South Pacific, a little bit closer to the Indian Ocean. They're a group of islands and atolls which are like sunken reefs and seabeds. It's just a really great environment down there in the South Pacific where there's a lot of animals, there's a lot of fish, there's a lot of life in the ocean. Ocean. So it looks like she's snorkeling in the water. It looks already like there's a lot of people with her, which is really good. You always want to have, you know, lots of buddies and everybody in the water with you. Oh, geez. Oh uh, yeah, that'll get you. Yeah, so you can already see right away. So she's just, she's diving down and she's, you can tell she's not really paying attention. She already almost ran into another shark right when she started diving. Uh, but she just doesn't even see those other two sharks kind of coming in from the back. And that will get you. Nurse sharks are actually very docile. They're not a very aggressive species of shark. And really it just takes you being in the wrong place at the wrong time. And she literally swam basically into its mouth paying attention and you're also like like it's basically like shoving your hand in their mouth and asking them not to bite you don't do that all right so next video here it comes to us from oahu hawaii this is a local fisherman he's kayaking and uh, let's just see what happens oh my god oh my god <laughs> i'm sorry wait no i need to replay that That's insane. This might be one of the wildest shark attacks I've ever seen. He's just minding his own business sitting there. And that is a massive tiger shark. I wonder if it says how big. That shark has got to be, it's definitely more than a nine foot shark. Because that's way bigger than his kayak. And I bet his kayak is like 10 or 12 feet. Imagine you're just sitting in your kayak and this shark bigger than your kayak just jumps on top of you. And you can even see it's like, it's like a foot away from his his leg right there i've actually i've heard of a story about another accident like this that happened on on the big island actually it's one of the only kayak shark attack deaths a tiger shark jumped onto his boat but it actually grabbed his leg and ripped it off as it kind of went back in the water and the, the man bled out unfortunately there are a few different reasons why this may or may not have happened um first of all this man he's kayaking off of a point on eastern oahu known as kanyohe bay and Kanihue Bay is actually this really sheltered and protected area. There's a sandbar, there's a barrier reef, and it's very, very calm inside of the bay. And then it's very lush and vibrant outside of the bay. Another factor is that this part of Oahu, this bay, is actually a shark breeding ground. And a lot of people don't realize that, but there are a lot, a lot of sharks in this area. Tiger sharks, reef sharks, and even some of those sandbar and Galapagos sharks all breed in this general area just because it's very nutrient rich and it's very calm uh, waters for them to actually have their young. You would not want to be on like a surfboard or something in this situation. Actually, right before this video, it had rained for a few weeks in Oahu and that's just gonna push a lot more nutrients off of the mountain into the ocean. And that's just gonna bring these sharks closer in to where these fishermen are also doing their activities. All right, next video comes to us, and it's from 
a scuba diving trip in the Brothers Island area in the Red Sea. And the Red Sea is somewhere that I've always wanted to dive. This place looks freaking amazing. It looks like it has some of the best coral I've seen, um, at least in videos. A lot of life, a lot of sharks, <laughs> and just a lot of different experiences that you won't have anywhere else. So definitely on the top of my travel list. But let's get into it. Let's see. So it's like divers around. This looks like it's Oh, he's being Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh he got I don't even know what I would do. I mean like you because when you're diving a lot of times you can't just rock it to the surface because your lungs will explode and you'll get nitrox bubbles in your system. I definitely guess that this is an oceanic white tip shark and I didn't realize that those were very prominent in the Red Sea because they're typically an offshore like deep sea species. But oceanic white tip sharks are different than your, your normal like white tip reef shark. Oceanic white tip sharks are probably one of the most aggressive sharks, even sometimes more aggressive than tiger sharks, bull sharks, and great whites combined. They are incredibly aggressive because they live far out into the ocean. So whenever they are hungry or trying to get resources or food, they have to be incredibly aggressive and fast to make sure they secure those resources. Otherwise, they might not eat for weeks on end just because of where they live. And in this video, you can just see that this shark is just getting increasingly more curious and bold. And it's just circling around them, the like building up that confidence and really testing their boundaries. You can even see in some some situations it gets close and then it, it wiggles away, right, as a diver reacts to it. In this situation, what you'd want to do to actually prevent this um, is probably get a little bit closer together when you start realizing those, those warning signs of that shark getting more and more curious. That way, it's less likely to attack or single you out. You don't want to be the diver that's like, far away from all the other divers when there's a shark like this in the area. You want to be close to this. A lot of those divers at the bottom you can see are using kind of the reef wall to kind of act as a barrier to the shark. That's a really good idea there. I think I'm actually, I changed my answer from before. I'm actually more afraid of oceanic white tip sharks than maybe a tiger or a bull shark. I think tiger sharks and bull sharks are a lot easier to read their behavior and like you'll definitely know if a bull shark is pissed off at you. The oceanic white tip, you can see like it seemed pretty calm in the beginning and then it's still attacking. This one is a great white shark attack, apparently in Tasmania, Australia, and it's doing it on a boat. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. You guys see that? Again, imagine if you're just on this tiny little boat and then this giant like 20 foot great white shark just like jumps on top. All right, this one doesn't look like an attack as much of like a disturbance. Um, it looks like the shark is just like flailing around the water. Maybe it's feeding on something and it just happened to be right next to the boat. A lot of times these sharks will like jump up to the surface. You know, you've seen in like South Africa where they jump. They don't really do that in a lot of other parts of the world, but they'll still like flail around the surface and they'll grab prey from the bottom. Okay, this is a shark attack. It says basically the boat is sinking. I don't know where it is. But honestly, this is a good video to kind of bring up another good point is that sharks always follow boats. This is something very important. This is something that is really sad that happened like not even that long ago. An 18 year old, I don't know if you've seen in the news, actually jumped off of a boat in the Bahamas and he went missing. They, they don't know where he is and they haven't found him. And in the video, a lot of people are saying they can see shark in the water. And that's it's probably true because sharks, especially in the Bahamas and the Caribbean, they follow boats because 
boats would just throw off all their scraps or trash into the ocean and sharks will just eat on it. But they know it's an easy meal. So they'll follow the boats. And, and really, you can look out the back of any boat that you're on and you'll probably see that man in a gray suit just circling around right behind you as you kind of traverse through the ocean. So you definitely do not want to jump off of a moving boat. Not only is it dangerous because the boat might ran you over, but you are putting yourself at risk of hungry sharks who think that the only thing being thrown over on the boat is food. And so if you jump in, they're going to associate you with food and it's just going to not be what you want. All right, I have one more video here for us. This is another one from Hawaii and it is a diver actually who's, it looks like it's on Maui. Oh my God. See, this is what I'm talking about. I never ever want to have this happen where I'm diving or I'm hanging out in the ocean and then I accidentally see a great white shark. I'd poop my pants. I'd literally poop my pants. Like, even though I'm a marine biologist, and even though I know that the sharks don't mean to hurt you, when you see a 15 foot shark with its mouth like coming at you, I, that's not, I don't want, that's not a beach day that I want to be a part of. Jeez, and the shark is just coming right at him. Like that is terrifying. It's just coming up to the bottom. And honestly, like when you're at the surface, like, you can't go anywhere. You know, it's a lot better when you're interacting with sharks to be at their level down here at the bottom because they don't really see you as prey. They see you as something that belongs in the ocean. But when you're at the surface, they think you're a seal, a turtle. You're something that doesn't really belong. And it's probably food. So they're going to come and check you out. And the shark is literally doing that. It's coming up and just getting a lot closer. And a lot of times shark attacks happen because they're not able to actually reach out and touch something like a human or a lot of other animals are able to. They use their teeth and unfortunately for us, we're not very durable. Anyways, that's it for today. Let me know if you guys want me to do some more reacting videos like this. I know that shark attacks are scary and they're in the news a lot, but they really do not happen that often. You're more likely to get stung and die by a bee, fall into a bathtub and break your neck, or even get hit by a car than anytime being bit by a shark. Let me know if you guys want me to do more of these reacting videos. I will definitely respond to all your comments if you leave them. Make sure when you're in the ocean, you take some of these precautions right here. Always swim with a buddy. Last year, there was only 108 cases of shark interactions that resulted in a bite. And that's in the entire world. So that's incredibly, incredibly rare. You do need to kind of have all that precautions in your mind when you're actually interacting in their environment and in the ocean. If you do get in a situation where a shark is being very agitated, remove yourself from that situation, get out of the water, use something to put in between you and the shark, and make sure you always keep an eye on that. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next ride. Boop.